We are good morning, good morning everybody. We are fixing to leave the hotel up here. I don't know if you guys gonna be able to see it, but up there are some mountains up there and all that good stuff. So we got the big son sitting in the passenger seat today. Sweetheart is sitting in the back, right? Yep, that's right. So let's get out of here. Well guys, we need to go to Walmart. So we figured we would go to Walmart for to get it done with before we hit the road. We're just on our way to uh, get to I-90, there is a Walmart here, so why not, right? Let's go do a little shopping. Yeah, we wanted to do some shopping yet. Turn left on North Reserve Street. I need a new shaver and some stuff you know so anyways we'll go inside and do some shopping well guys we are back on the big road again yes back on to i-90 now we're putting the hammer down towards seattle we had 466 miles to go to our hotel yeah looks a little cloudy or foggy or smoke or whatever this morning again but yeah we got some big mountains up ahead of us it looks like ah inspection station one mile <laughs> i gotta keep reminding myself that i'm not in a truck so i don't have to go into the scales you know mind you we haven't seen one scale that's been open yet so yep anyways we'll continue on and See what kind of fun we'll have today. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun today. Yeah, later on we'll probably meet up with JP and... I don't know who he is, but he sounds like a good person. Yeah, and uh, maybe uh, Trucker Jukebox will get there tonight. And we'll all go to a nice restaurant. Yeah. Have a good dinner. That thanks for sure. The yeah. vlogger fair, I'm gonna give Trucker Jukebox a big hug and I'm gonna play a lot with his dogs. Oh yeah. One thing for sure. Alrighty, well, we'll continue on and uh, see what happens. Well, guys, we are getting into more treacherous highways. Yeah, I think we're getting closer and closer to Idaho. Yep, and uh, looks like we gotta go zigzagging around some big mountains up here. It looks like it. Yeah. Looks like 45 mile an hour for the next four miles, at least for big trucks. Could be tipping over, you know, if they got a top heavy load, you know. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous though. Yeah, let's see what we got around the bend up here. Yeah, look at that. More and more mountains, eh? bit of a river there to the left I don't know if the camera picked it up or not but looking good well guys we are still zigzagging around I-90 here and it uh, looks like we will be entering Idaho here very shortly We've got about a probably about a hundred miles to Spokoon yeah and then we'll be in Washington so it must not be very far to go through Idaho. Not at all. So we will be in Seattle tonight. Oh yeah. Well guys, we are entering Idaho right now. Yes, now we are officially in Idaho. Looks like they got this highway under construction. And it said it's a six degree Downhill Incline Yeah And it says uh, It's like that for five miles Oh yeah Oh well it is gorgeous though I guess they're going to fix up this highway here Before winter eh So make it a nice highway for winter yeah. So now we are on top of the mountain, at least a fair bit on the top anyways, maybe not all the way, but yeah, now it's going down a long way. Going down, going down, going down. <laughs> Look at that over there. Wow. What do you got up there? Some field of some sort. Yeah. 
there to the right. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but we got something down there. <laughs> you can't see it anymore. Oh, no, uh -huh. okay. Well, maybe we can see it again when we go a little further. Yeah. Anyways, oh, look at that. There's people living down there. I don't know what it is that they got down there, but <laughs> looks interesting. Something to entertain them. Yeah. Well, guys, we are entering Washington right now. Entering Spokane Country. Oh, look at that. The scale is open. I, I, I was saying earlier on video, I said it's like... <laughs> I'm, I'm watching the scale every time I go across the scale. I'm like, oh shit, no, I, I, I'm in a vehicle. I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> uh, oh, <man. laughs> yeah, well, I haven't done a log book in a couple of days either, so it kind of feels kind of feels funny you know you just set your alarm to whenever you want you get up in the morning whenever you feel like and you just take your time and just go whenever you feel like it and it feels kind of different too you know I can pull off at any exit I want and I'm like I, I, I told my wife yesterday I said when uh, when we pull off that exit to go to the hotel we actually had to literally go five miles south on that one road there to go to the hotel where we went to but that was the cheapest place we found and uh, you know we go the exit there and it says 13 uh, feet tall bridge and I said well I guess a truck wouldn't fit underneath here you know <laughs> I got that so in my so much in my head with the trucking you know that <laughs> I watch for stuff like that all the time but it was a it was a nice little hotel there and nice and quiet it was actually nice and cheap too. It was like 80, I think 86 bucks with taxes and everything for a nice uh, room with two queen beds in it. You know, that was actually not bad. Well, guys, I don't know if you can be able to see it, but here to the left, that whole field looks like it's been burned out. I guess this is where they had all the wildfire up here back uh, a couple of weeks ago, I guess, or maybe a month ago. But it looks pretty black. Everything is burned out. Yeah, there was a big field that was completely black. All burned out. They still had high fire danger signs up here back in the on the road there earlier. I saw that. Everything is pretty dry. Looks like they could use a good rain up here. Yep, we only got about 244 miles to go to Seattle. Not that far anymore. Well, guys, we are here in uh, Moose Lake. Moses Lake. Moses Lake? Alright, Moses Lake. I guess Moses was here at one time. But we're at the Dairy Cream. We're having a ice cream. Yeah, so we are getting ready to get back on the road in uh, 181 miles to go to Seattle. So we should be there in no time. So let's get going. Well, guys, have a look at this to the right up here. Isn't that interesting? Yes, that is some weird mountains up there or whatever you want to call it. And there's a lake at the bottom, which I think we will be going across later on yet. I think I showed you guys, uh, the viewers, this uh, crossing a little while ago, like a month and a half ago or something like that, but my wife, I don't think I've seen it ever, so should be very interested in seeing it. Yeah, it's pretty darn windy up here too, but anyways, just figured I'd show you that a little bit. I think very soon we'll start going down and then we'll go over that bridge there. Yep, yeah, that's where it looks like we're heading. It's a scenic view, one mile. Yeah. Well guys, here we are at a very scenic place. Wow. Yes, look at the history here a little bit. Yeah, that is pretty windy out here though. Mm -hmm. But take a look I hope you're going to be able to understand me a little bit because I know the wind 
wind is super, super strong up here, but <laughs> that's where the bridge is over there, where we're going to go across a little bit later. But anyways, we just had to stop over here and get a little bit of a scenic view for you guys. Anyways, we'll be back. Well, at least up here, we get a little bit of a break from the wind. But just look at the funny type of trees that they got up here. That's pretty funny, eh? So I got a little bit of a weird rock formation up here. Yeah. This is strange, eh? Oh, look at that. There's somebody up there. Anyways. Just walking around to the edge here. Enjoying the beautiful trip down to Seattle, right? Right, Diego? Yep. Huh? Let's go to watch the edge. <laughs> well, I guess the wind is picking up again. Let's take a look over this edge. Just be careful there, son. Uh -huh. Holy smokes. That goes straight down, eh? Yeah, that is scary. <laughs> I wouldn't want to fall down over there. <laughs> look at that, eh? isn't that gorgeous? Oh yeah, definitely gorgeous, eh? Anyways, let's get out of here. I'll take a look at these rocks over here, guys. Look at that, they got some kind of holes in them or something like that. That's interesting. Yeah, what kinds of interesting things that they got up here, eh? Here we go, guys. I know some of you have seen this bridge before, but hey, I figure may as well show it to you. I remember clearly saying on that video that me and my wife was going to come across this highway when we go to Seattle. And here we are. Here's proof in the pudding that we are here. That's right. Only 137 miles to go to our hotel. And then we'll be in Seattle, yeah. We got a good scenic footage up there, I believe. Good view. Crazy windy. I hope the mic was able to block a lot of that wind noise, but uh, we'll have to see. I used the mic to uh, try and cancel out some of the wind noise. It's supposed to help, but we'll see how it will perform, right? Anyways, we'll put the hammer down to Seattle. Well, look at the beautiful area of Seattle, guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a little bit of traffic already, but not bad, I think. Not bad. But, uh, hey, look at the beautiful uh, water. We're going over the water right now. Over a big lake. <laughs> yep. Look at this, guys. We're going to go through a tunnel again. We just came through one. Yeah, there is another one. Yeah. Seattle Port Pacific. Seattle Portal to Pacific. Oh, I see. Okay. So yes, this is the tunnel through the Pacific or something. Must be, yeah. Almost sounds like fans, eh? Hear that? Like the wind fans like to get In 1.1 miles, take exit 2C on the right to I-5 North. We only got 3.7 miles to go. We'll be at the hotel. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, you too? Yeah. Good. Well, guys, here we are coming into downtown Seattle area. Yeah. Looks like we should be at the hotel here pretty soon. Well, guys, what happened was my battery died on me, so I had to switch batteries real fast. But this is downtown Seattle for you, guys. This is downtown Seattle for you. Look at these guys holding signs and all. Oh, this is where the uh, ships are for that uh, uh, for that rides there that I was talking about for the fair. Or, or the, uh, yeah, we logger fair for the rides. 
those are the right anyways we are about half a mile away from our hotel should be just down the corner here we'll go check into the hotel hopefully we find the place <laughs> Well guys, we are here at our dinner place and the boys have finally made it. <laughs> yeah, we're here with the whole family. Have a look at the good meat that we got up here. And they're not done yet. We're just starting. <laughs> hey. Hey Big Jerry, don't be jealous. <laughs> you could have come. <laughs> Anyways, we're having fun. Well guys, we are just about done for today. We had a good meal, right? Oh, oh absolutely. fantastic. It's good. Fantastic. Good. Thank you to Alfredi, Diego, and Rudy. Yes. Perfect meal. Man, you talk so good. <laughs> El Alfreda. Alfreda. I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> hey, one a friend. It's, uh, I, I lost my German. <laughs> I learned German. Uh, That's, that yeah. was uh, when I lived in Germany. Yeah. I, I yeah. learned German. Poor German I people. Know. Oh. <laughs> San Diego. San Diego. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. Think of San Anyways, Diego. Anyways, we will see you guys tomorrow at Vlogger Fair mm -hmm. and we will have some more fun. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.